Hey, what's happening guys? I've got a nice little module board here today and this was sent to us for our consideration by our friends at icstation.com. So a big thanks to them. Let's zoom in and have a look here at what we've got. Now this is an opto isolator board. As you can see here, we have an input side and we have an output side and then we have an input power. We have a couple of surface mount resistors, an opto isolator, and then on the output side we have another couple of surface mount resistors. And let me zoom in further so you can see what it says here. So this will take 24 volt in and switch it to 5 volt out. Now a lot of boats and airplanes run 24 volt systems. Also some um, alarm systems use 24 volt, but basically anything that uses 24 volts will work with this. And through a little bit of experimentation, I found out that it works equally well with about 12 volt system so that's pretty cool now keep in mind this is a single direction opto isolator doesn't work in the other direction let's take a look at this on IC stations webpage and then we'll come back and do a demonstration all right here's the item on IC stations webpage this is the four channel voltage level translator optocoupler isolation board PLC signal four bit converter module. Now the board I was sent has um, surface mount resistors here. So it is a little bit different than what you see here, but behaves in the same way. So there's no problem there. So it has a uh, conversion frequency of 20 kilohertz. You can see some size there. And here is the schematic. Again, what we're looking at here on the board they sent me is just a little bit different. Now this side, the input side, is the same. On the output side, I actually have two resistors here. Both surface mount, one is 10k, the other is 510 ohm. And then they show you a couple of setup things here. Now, the one thing that you need to keep in mind, whoops, that's a graphic, okay. This is incorrect. Power, module power is not 24 volt. Module power is five volt. If you try and hook it up with 24 volt, it is not going to work. So, Signal power is 24 volt, module power is 5 volt. Keep that in mind and you'll do just fine. Let's go and take a look at it in action. All right, so there is the board, and there is uh, the schematic with the resistor values in place. And if we look at that optocoupler, it is an EL817 optocoupler. So let's hook this thing up and see how it works. All right, step one, we are going to power it up. Use the bench power supply to input 5 volts, not the 24 volts that it says on the web page. If you try and power it with 24 volts, it is only going to drop the voltage down to about 14 volts. Then we're also going to put in our output wire. Whoops. 
Butterfingers, huh? Still a little excitable after today's football game. Now we have to import our input our 24 volt signal. So that is coming. Jeez. It's coming from a little uh, buck converter, also from IC Station. An excellent little buck converter slash uh, desktop power supply, this little guy right here. Now, I only have one power supply that's capable of putting out 24 volts, and I'm using it to put the 5 volts into here. So, in order to put 24 volts into here, I am hooking up two 12 volt supplies in series. You see, if you take the negative from the first one and feed it into the positive of the second one and run them like that, you can get 24 volts out of two 12 volt systems. Handy if you need it, right? Okay, next up, we're going to hook a voltmeter up so that we can see the action here. So I'm going to connect the common ground to our power in ground, and then I will connect the positive to the output. And for our voltmeter today, we're using the O1B35T. Very nice voltmeter. Right, let's power on our module power, 5 volts in. And you can see the LED has lit up. And we are receiving 5 volts out. We're not inputting anything at this time. So it has an inverted signal. It switches on a, on a signal high. All right, so here we go. Five volts on the low. Input our 24 volt. And you see we just have a few millivolts there. Our input LED turns on and our output LED turns on. So a high signal gives you an output low. A low signal gives you an output high. And it works out pretty well. Now again, I said I've experimented with this a little bit. And I found that we can take it down to about a 12 volt input signal and it gives you about 500 millivolts 600 millivolts output which is definitely still enough if you're going to use this with an Arduino to show up as a low signal so it is compatible with 12 volt no problem at all and you can see at 12 volt the switching is pretty fast there And we'll go back up to 24 volts. The switching seems to be just a little bit slower. At 24 volts. But it definitely works out just fine. So just to recap... Power the module with 5 volts, input 24 to 12 volts, and you get a 0 or 5 volt output. So, that's it. This is um, labeled Alzard DST1R4P-N because it uses an NPN type transistor in the optocoupler. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, 
and don't forget to subscribe. That's it. I'm out. Peace.